Okay, so this is the folder. It's just a plain A4 uh, ring binder folder. You can decorate the front if you like or get your children to decorate the front. Some folders come with that uh, plastic sleeve that you can put something in. I just happen to have these folders so that was that. So this is my toddler learning folder. The first page I've printed off um, a little introduction page with their name. You can do these in colour, make it pretty, whatever. You could then, you know, maybe put their age and stuff, some things about them if you wanted to so that they have something uh, for themselves for the first page. So the first main page I've started with the alphabet. This is just clear black on white um, high definition letters so they can see everything really clearly. And all I will do with this is I might just go through very quickly the alphabet, obviously saying it phonetically, abacada, effaga. Um, and then I have some magnetic letters, which I can either match uh, or, you know, have my toddler match to the letters. We tend to, we'll obviously just do, you know, the first line rather than the whole thing. Or you could um, get a little counter and just say, could you put this on the letter A? Ah, um, or whatever. It depends um, how advanced I guess your toddler is when it comes to the alphabet. Or again you just use it as a quick um, reading exercise of all the letters. And I have the capital letters here as well. Obviously I'm not even kind of bothering with these really but it's there in case I want to use it. Now numbers. I'm just working mainly on the numbers 0 to 5 with my toddler at this point. Um, on these pages I do have the numbers 1 to 10 as well but this is the main page we do. So um, interactive obviously means that the child can interact in some way as well. So for example on this page um, there are these corresponding penguins uh, with matching numbers. So my toddler literally will match the number uh, the penguin number to the other number, so 0, 1, 2, and so on. You can stick Velcro um, on these pages, which I have done on some other ones. Um, I just didn't bother with this one because um, I don't know why. <laughs> I couldn't be bothered. Um, I will leave all the links to where I got these from down below, so have no fear. You will be able to get one yourself. I think that was free. Um, again, the numbers but on a, a train so you could get little train counters or use your own little train toys and they can put the train can you put it on number one can you put it on number two and so on then I just have some clear numbers one to ten and um, eleven to twenty but we're not really working through those but there is no harm in just saying eleven twelve thirteen fourteen you know children are very receptive. Um, they are like a sponge. Everything can, can go in quite easily. So if you want to pop it in, pop it in. If you don't, you don't. Now onto the colours. Here I have stuck on Mi Velcro. This is clear Velcro which you can buy from Amazon. So I basically printed two of the same page and cut one out. Um, I had to to write this in because this was from an American website and colours were spelt without the U, which we cannot have in the English language. So I wrote that in myself. So again, I'll take all these off and he will match red with red, green with green. And this has really helped him with his colors. He pretty much knows all his colors at the moment. Um, and that's far quicker than my eldest was. So this is clearly working. So we've got colors, we've got shapes, just your, your basic shapes, heart, circle again with the velcro. Um, these you can laminate as well. I did this section before I bought my laminator so um, these are not laminated and all these pages I've stuck in um, these plastic sleeves but you could technically laminate these as well and hole punch them. That is what um, JDA does. Hers looks far more professional uh, but I've just done it like this. So we've done um, colour shapes, numbers and letters. Then body parts. Children should know their body parts. Um, it's helpful if they hurt themselves or something. So here we have all the basic ones, your head, nose, ear, hand, um, whatnot. 
I decided not to make this um, a sort of Velcro interactive one because we sort of point to the parts on our body. So I go, where's your nose? And he'll point to his nose and he'll point to the nose on here. Again, very basic. There are lots of body part sheets um, that you can find. Then we have farm animals. We also use farm animal flashcards, which is the same kind of thing. So I just um, printed a sheet that had the basic farm animals here. So a sheep, a duck, and you know, we go through and we do the sounds. Can you find the chicken? What sound does a chicken make? Buck, 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 chicken. Um, <laughs> God. And so on. So that's the farm animals. Fruits, again, your basic fruits banana. Um, I got all these sheets actually from the same person, um, these first ones. I'll link all that down below. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, pineapple, cherry. Then we have um, vegetables. Again, these are your, your basic vegetables that you might have um, daily with your meal. So that kind of familiarizes them uh, with those. Now this sheet really is more for my elder child, uh, my three and a half year old, but my two year old, my toddler, really enjoyed doing this page. And because my elder son could do this quite easily, I put this into my toddler's folder instead. So it's basically animals on land and animals in the water. So it helps them uh, differentiate, um, obviously, between um, different species of animals. So he knows what a giraffe is, he knows that they stay dry, as it were. He knows the starfish goes in the water. So I'll just say, you know, what is this? Or he'll go, giraffe, raff. Does it go on the land or in the water? And he'll, I mean, obviously he gets these wrongs from, from time to time, but it's just fun, interactive learning. Next page, again, this was just something he liked doing. So I kept it in there. It's just taking off the ice cream cones. Um, these are obviously not your primary colours, but it's just introducing them to um, different visuals, I guess. So he enjoys doing that. Then we have, um, again, a sort of like a shapes exercise. Um, he likes to take these off, put the tree on. Uh, I say, oh, you know, what, what shape is the roof? It's a triangle. And he just really enjoys doing that as well. Uh, now this is a matching shadow game. This one is from busylittlebugs.com, but again, I shall leave everything down below. So these I did laminate. I had bought my laminator by this point. So basically I printed the first sheet, printed the second sheet, laminated it, cut it out, stuck on the Velcro tags, and he literally just matches um, the sea creature to its shadow. He really likes to, doing this one. He really enjoys puzzles anyway, so, um, you know, and these can be quite hard because it's, it's only the outline of the shape. So it really gets them focusing and um, concentrating on the animals and the shapes. And again, you can say what, what the animal is, what color it is, lots of um, learning activities within this one sheet, basically. Then we have matching pets and their homes. So, the dog goes in the kennel, the bird goes in the bird cage, the goldfish goes in the fish bowl, and so on. And this is nice because, you know, the little circle shapes. Um, I really enjoyed this particular sheet. Um, we also have a matching pets in their homes kind of card game. But again, these are just sort of your basic um, animals and where they live. So I thought that was you know, sort of important, I guess, in um, their learning. Basically, I've put the most important uh, activities at the front and it kind of goes, well, it doesn't go down, actually. It actually gets harder as the folder gets um, goes on. But this I don't consider, obviously, as important as the letters and the numbers, so I've put this further back. Now, this one, um, which I thought was really, really great, this is a sort by colour. So, again, laminated all of these. This took me ages to do, <laughs> cut all them out. And we have yellow, blue, green, and red. And again, within this one sheet, you've got lots of different activities. So you've got a color matching activity. You've also got, um, you know, what is this? It's a banana, a lemon, all oh, the sun, all different kinds of things you can 
do with this one. So this is a really nice um, activity. Now here, this is a preposition sheet, as in you know, on, under, next to. This again, not necessarily um, an activity for toddlers um, to have to do, but my eldest struggled with this, so um, I decided that I better put it in my toddler's folder so that we can get used to it. And what I do is I copy the activity. So I say the owl is on the box and I will get on, I don't know, the, the chair or something. The owl is under and I'll go under something. So he's visualizing and kind of subtly gets used to it because I think these can be very difficult for young children. I think they, they might know behind and um, maybe on, but things like through, around, between and next to can be quite complicated. So if you feel that there are things that you want your toddler to learn, then just pop it in the folder. So this is literally our daily folder. We usually don't do all of it, um, but sometimes we do. And these are all things that are really going to help him in those first few years of learning. There are lots of other activities that you could pop in here, but you don't want to make it too long um, because again, this is meant to be like a daily exercise. So um, just put in the main things that you want. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I shall leave all the links to every single page down below. So don't fear, you will not miss out. And I will also leave a link to JDA's channel and anything else I think is useful. So please do subscribe if you like my content and I shall see you all next time.